हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फूड न्यूट्रिशन एंड डाइटेटिक्स चैनल टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ यूनिट थ्री डैट इज पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड न्यूट्रिशन बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स सो वी विल कवर टुडे चैप्टर वन एंड चैप्टर टू वी विल कवर्ड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स बेसिक कंसेप्ट द ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट रिपोर्ट रिलीज बाई यूनाइटेड नेशन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम रैंक्स इंडिया एट वन थर्टी वन आउट ऑफ वन एटी एट कंट्रीज सो द रिपोर्ट क्रिएटेड बाई यूनाइटेड नेशन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम Uh, puts our India at the rank of 131 out of 188 country. So every year UNDP ranks countries based on Human Development Index. Uh, uh, what is the Human Development Index and how it is measured? We will now see below. Uh, Human Development Index is a statistical tool which ranks countries uh, countries by the level of human development. That is measure of countries overall achievement uh, in its social and economic dimensions. Uh, you may be wondering that what the social and economic dimensions are. The social and economic dimensions are uh, of a country are based on first health of people, level of education attained, and uh, the standard of living. So the Human Development Index is measured through many yeah, social and economic dimensions that are uh, the health of the people and level of level of education attainment. So how much the people people are educated and the standard of living they live. the uh, below uh, the below graph tell us how human development index and what are its dimensions and how it is measured so dimensions of human development index are uh, long and healthy life uh, second is knowledge and third is decent standard of living so the long and healthy life is measured uh, by indicators like life expectancy at birth knowledge is measured by mean year of schooling and expected year of schooling and uh decent standard of living is measured by gross national income per capita uh, now we will get a uh, study about what these terms mean the calculation of human development index uh, therefore combines four major indicators namely first life expectancy uh, number of years a newborn infant could expect to live if prevailing pattern of age specific mortality rates at the time of birth stays the same throughout the infant life so it uh, tells us the uh, how much uh, people uh, new one child how uh, how much uh, till what age they survive and wh- what are their expected uh, living in our country uh, second is expected year of schooling or for education so how much year did the student uh, st- study and its average is calculated second and third is uh, mean year for schooling uh, for education average number of years of education the student how much take how much the people how much number of years they study and uh, complete their education and uh, fourth is gross national income per capita for standard living the hdi is a measure for assessing program in human development based on a long and healthy life access to knowledge and access to decent of living the indicators are then combined to generate hdi scores before 0 and 1 India's human development index value 0.624 puts it in the medium human development category the world's top 3 country in hdi are norway australia and switzerland so the indicators that are the indicators which is studied above are combined and our human development index is calculated and it puts us in a medium uh, it puts our uh, country in medium human development category and the world top 3 hdi are uh, norway australia and switzerland Uh, the next topic of interest is sustainable development goals the goals are attempt from galvanize global efforts uh, towards social mobilizing healthy community let's know more about them so sustainable development goals many of you have heard about the millennium goals which were the anti poverty initiative set up in 2000 by united nations uh, eight goals were uh, set up in this millennium declaration adopted globally which was largely successful and more shortfall remained in the 15 year effort so earlier uh, before the sustainable development come into play there was one uh, other major so that was millennium development goals which were, which can uh, which consist of eight goals and uh, it failed uh, it but uh, due to many efforts uh, it failed and after that the sdgs was uh, the sdgs replaced the mdgs that is sustainable development goals replaced millennium development goals so in september 2015 the united nations general assembly adopted the 2030 agenda for sustainable development and so um, in september 2015 our uh, the united nations assembly adopted 2030 uh, 2030 agenda for sustainable development goals by replacing mdgs 
the new agenda emphasizes a holistic approach to achieve sustainable development for all which includes 17 goals featuring 169 targets and implemented for from 2015 to 2030 so it has been implemented till uh, from 2050 and uh, uh, till 2030 the goals will be adopted in the number of countries united including india so these are followed in uh, seven countries including india so the below the below viewer gives us uh, this uh, explain us about these 17 goals which consist of uh, under sustainable development goals so you can take screenshot for studying it later uh, but as a student of nutrition the goals and targets which uh, should concern to most include the three highlighted in the box so as a student of food nutrition the goals which are associated with our subject we will study only that uh, not all 17 so first uh, goal is goal 2 that is end hunger goal 3 and uh, good health and well-being and goal 6 clean water and sanitations uh, the goal 2 goal 3 and goal 3 are the uh, goals which are associated with our subject so we will learn detail about this goal 2 So goal to uh, achieve food security, improved nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. So it focuses in the achieve of food security and improved nutrition on sustainable uh, agriculture. Targets. Uh, targets are the first target is uh, by 2030 uh, aid hunger and ensure access to all people in particular the poor and people in vulnerable situation including infants to safe nutrition and sufficient food all year round. So it focuses that by 2030 we should end hunger in our country by making the people access food uh, throughout the year and insufficient amount second by 2030 and all forms of malnutrition including uh, achieving by 2025 the internationally agreed target on stunting and wasting children under five years of age and address the nutritional need of adolescent guns pregnant and lactating and older mothers so goal uh, second uh, second point on the which comes under this category is that we should fo not only focus for the uh, uh, child which are poor but we should also focus on the 5 years of, uh, age groups like 5 years old and uh, nutritional need for adult girls and pregnant women also. Next is goal 3. Goal 3 consists of good uh, health and well-being. It ensures healthy living and promote well-being for all ages. Mm, first, uh, the first point which con comes under this are uh, by 2030 reduce the global maternal mortality rates less than 70% per uh, 1 lakh life births. So it, re uh, it mainly focuses on reducing the um, death rates in our country. Second is by 2030 end preventable deaths of newborn and children under 5 years of age with countries aiming to reduce neonatal mortality and let least as low as 12% per thousand life. So second point which comes under this is uh, by 2030 we should prevent the death of the newborn child under 5 years of age. They should not die and we should um, uh, uh, reduce it at least as low as 12% per thousand lives. Third, uh, by 2030 end the epidemic of AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria and combat hepatitis, waterborne diseases and other communicable diseases. So third point which comes under this is by 2030 we should uh, end the epidemic uh, uh, epidemic of many harmful diseases by taking the vaccines and uh, accessing to um, good health services next goal 6 that is clean water and sanitation it ensures availability and uh, uh, availability and sustainable management of water sanit sanitation for all so it targets are first uh, by 2030 achieve universal and equitable access to safe water affordable drinking water for all so it's uh, it achieve on universal equitable that uh, all should afford uh, drinking water for all fresh uh, by 2030 uh, achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all and end upon defecation um, paying uh, special attention to needs of the women and girls and those in volume situation so by 2030 we should uh, <clears throat> mainly focus on the hygiene of the people by uh, preventing the open defecation and it is mainly very bad for the uh, our country because many people go outside for defecation so it should be reduced as uh, early as possible so uh, this comes under clean water and sanitation goal 6 under sustainable development goals from next video we will start malnutrition that is chapter 2
do subscribe to our channel and like the video and share with your friends thanks for watching